Clean game of dominoes inside a yard at the corner of Euphrates Avenue and Dean Street turned deadly this afternoon when a gunman stormed the property and opened fire on the players. All I know, we were sitting there playing Danimo with the guy that was shot. Four of us were playing Danimo. And I was, they just asked me to go and buy a little, um, a little something, you know. And when I get up, I get up and I was about to come when I heard shots start a fire and I noticed people were running inside the downstairs house. I decided to run out of the store. While the witness and his colleagues ran for cover, 56-year-old Cyril McFoy remained seated around the table. The attacker then turned his weapon on him. While well, that running and looking back, I just saw the man just turn and the guy that didn't get up out from around the table and shot him in his head. Who was that guy? Cyril, Cyril McFoy, my close friend of him. I played down with him every day in the yard. Did you guys get a look at who your attackers were? Uh, the guy can't be a face, but I, really, I don't really know the guy. No, he didn't have no mask or nothing. So when you guys set off running away from the gunman, was there anyone else injured? What happened when you guys ran through the back of the yard? Well, we were just running and we heard and shot next guy. Next guy was shot in his foot also. Police press officer Rafael Martinez shares preliminary information on the fatal shooting. Uh, sadly, we had a fatality in which 56-year-old uh, uh, Cyril McFoy um, Robinson was fatally injured. Also injured in this uh, shooting incident today, we have 45-year-old uh, uh, Sean Charrington who was uh, injured to the leg. Uh, so far we have no motives for this uh, latest incident and uh, we are investigating this uh, latest shooting that occurred in Belize City. In terms of the police response, I know that there are several uh, precincts and, and stations in the immediate area. What was their response like to this well, particular shooting? When the shooting happened, and I, I come back and saw my friend on the ground. It was a, poli a police vehicle was coming to face, but you guys, they didn't know about the shooting, so I flagged them down. And I saw they stop and we grabbed Cyril and put him in the back of the truck and they went to the hospital with his brother. During the armed assault, the men ran through the two-story wooden building to escape the indiscriminate shooting, crashing through a zinc fence near the rear of the property. According to the eyewitness, in all the years he has been frequenting the residence, something as violent as this has never happened. When I've been coming out here, spending time with Cyril and that, something that never happened before. I mean, that never happened to go he there, I help him make his tabulator and cut a boat and, you know, go and buy things that whatsoever he wants. When he don't want to go, I go buy it for him. And he also work on the Blaze Ice Cream Chop. He's a very good friend, man. I don't know why I have to do that to him. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.